One young girl is sharing the journey with her disability through the flip of a page. First News at 9's Ellie Ulbricht tells us about the new children's book meant to educate and inspire. We wanted to write the book so that kids with chronic illnesses would know that they're not alone. In kindergarten, Abigail Bailey was diagnosed with EDS, Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, a disability affecting connective tissue, mainly the skin, joints, and blood vessel walls. It's like building a body using a glue stick instead of super glue. Um, and so everything, a, a lot of people with EDS, their skin is hypermobile, it's stretchy, it comes with things like poor wound healing and fragile skin. Um, and so it can cause a lot of things like chronic pain and just kind of affects the body in, in various ways. Bailey says she has struggled with EDS since she can remember, so her and her mom, Pay Carter, decided to write a book on her experiences. There just isn't a lot of books on, on disabilities, uh, especially invisible ones, and even more so chronic pain, which is something that comes with our type of Ehlers-Danlos. And represent, representation is just so important. Growing up with EDS can be very difficult, and Carter says that their book explains exactly how Bailey got through it. The book follows her journey getting diagnosed and then trying to navigate school with accommodations because you often see kids that have physical or visible disabilities. You don't have a lot of kids that look typical, um, act typical, have accommodations in place, so it's very hard for other kids to understand. Not only is this an opportunity for Bailey to share her story, but it is also a way for other kids in her shoes to not feel alone. Getting the feedback of people that have, like, had it, or do have it, I mean, um, and I... It's just great to see how happy they are to have a see a book about it. The mother-daughter duo say 5% of all proceeds from their book go towards the Ellers Danlos Foundation. In Eau Claire, Ellie Elbricht, First is at 9. Carter says they started selling their book on Tuesday and have already sold hundreds of copies while also being in the top 100 books sold on Amazon. Coming up in